and the players getting reacquainted prior to the tip. A pretty loose atmosphere out there. Welcome to 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr with Doris Burke on our sideline. So off the tip, it's Washington's ball. It's Beal on the wing. And the layup falls. Beal's got the game going here with the first basket for the Wizards. Again, he's one player who doesn't need a, a lot of space to get to the basket. He's really crafty the way he can blast his way straight through traffic. He's really strong. And you know, he is an extremely skilled player attacking off the dribble, too. I mean, he's got a great pull-up jumper as well, Steve. So it's Washington now to the inside. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Washington shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Two shots. And the first one gets. And so he hits both. On defense, the Wizards. The dagger covered by Wall. And it's sent back by Bryant. Outside, Wall. He dishes it to Beal. He's covered by Dan. And Bryant the bucket on the assist from Beal. Bryant's got his first bucket of the night. The defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. The dagger covered by Wall. Here's Dang. Nice D from Beal. We've seen a quick start here for the Wizards. Four point game. It's tipped. It's off his foot. And the official saying it was kicked. into the first quarter. The pass to Fuller. Six to shoot. It's stolen by Wall. And he jams it with authority. With that reverse jam, the fans got a little extra show there. That one definitely had something, you're right, extra on it. That was one of those three or four plays that you see every night in an NBA game that just that leaves you in awe. Now let's send it over to Doris Burke, who was able to talk with Scott Brooks. Guys, he anticipates they'll be able to take advantage of the perimeter defense they're facing today and convert a lot of easy chances and uncontested looks from the outside. We'll see if they can knock them down, Kevin. Thanks a lot, Doris. I definitely can appreciate their approach with the three ball. Gets it to go. How about that going up strong? I mean, he doesn't care how much height he's giving up. It's attitude with him. Number eight. And he'll scrape and claw for everything he gets out there. That's what I respect about him, just his sheer effort level. And let's not leave out another branding mark of his. His status as much as a clutch. When a big shot's needed to win a ball game, everybody in the building knows he's going to take it. Doesn't make any difference, though. He still finds a way to knock it down. That free throw, no good.
And the second free throw, good. Well, I'm sure he'd like to have that one back, but making it a two-possession game was the key, and he got that done. Here is Livingston, defended by Beal. Here's Fuller, rejected by Bolginus. And here's the fast break, Beal leading the way. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Passes it to Livingston. A dagger covered by Wall. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Wizards out front, a five. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And what stands out to you from Washington?